Hello everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project. We Today we're going to create this really cool fall reflections project where we're going to have the trees be reflected in the water. So let's go over our list of supplies to do this project together. One, you'll need a piece of watercolor paper or you could possibly use mixed media paper but since we're using watercolors today I recommend watercolor paper. You will need your watercolor paints, a paintbrush, a cup of water, <clears throat> paper towel, <clears throat> excuse me, and four oil pastels, a black one, a brown one, a blue one, and a white one. That is what we'll need for today's project. All right, so we'll get started here. <clears throat> we're going to start by making a guideline on our paper. So we're going to take the top of our paper, line it up with the bottom. Oof. First, we want to make sure that our paper is in landscape direction. That means long ways in front of us. And then we want to fold it over and line up our edges. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a crease. I'm not putting a hard crease all the way, but I am putting just a little bit of a crease that will stay there uh, for me for a while. All right, so we're going to start by taking our brown oil pastel and we're going to create some trees here, just the tree trunks and the branches. So you're going to use this um, center line as your like the ground where the trees are coming out of. And when you um, do your tree trunks, you want to make sure that you're pushing down a little bit with your oil pastel so you get a nice dark tree you don't want a lot of white paper showing through so you just go ahead and and trees have um, you can make your branches go whatever direction you want so i'm making the trunk of my tree and some branches and i'm pushing down so i get a nice dark color there we go and then i'm going to make I'm going to fill my row. You can put as many trees as you want. Um, I think in my example here, I did seven trees, which is a nice odd number for art. So we'll see if we get that many. Maybe I'll do five, depending on how much room I have. It, does, it doesn't matter because this is your own art. So if you want to add more or less, that is totally fine. And then another thing is I don't want my trees to go all the way to the top of the paper, the trunks and the branches, because I'm going to create the leaves that will be up here on my trees. So you want to go about no more than about halfway up to the from the middle of your paper to the top of your paper. And some trees can be a little taller or some trees can be a little shorter because when in nature, I've never seen tree, two trees that are, they may look similar, but I've never seen them exactly the same. They always vary just a little bit. So you can do the same with your trees. All right. Another one here. There we go. See how they're all just a little bit different? That gives you some variety in your art. And I'm just making sure my trunks are nice and filled in. And they're right on that line. And tree trunks are usually a little bit wider at the bottom. If you go out and look at trees, you'll notice that they're a little wider at the bottom.
There we go. So I'm going to stop with the, that many trees today. That's five trees and I spread them out a little more. I like that. It looks great. So I'm going to set my brown um, oil pastel aside and now I'm going to get my watercolor paints out. And I'm going to do these as fall colors. Um, you can pick any of the warm colors for the fall leaves that you want. Um, you could do them all green if you wanted, and the, but I just think right now is fall. And so I just love the beautiful colors of the fall trees. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little water in my red paint to start getting it ready and in my orange paint. I'm not going to use yellow. I like the red and the orange better. So I'm just going to stick with those two colors. So, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, paint the uh, wet on dry. We're just going to go ahead and have our wet paint brush and we're going to swirl it around and get nice color on our brush. So swirl it around several times to get lots of paint on your brush. And then you're just going to uh, stipple your brush or you're going to tap it. You're not going to brush it on or wipe it on. You're just going to tap it like this. And that's called stippling and it's going to make it look more like leaves and so you want to make sure that you fill all that in go ahead and paint right over your oil pastel that is okay and I'm making sure that I don't have a lot of white space on my trees I like a nice solid because we're kind of looking at these trees from a distance and so we're going to see nice solid we aren't going to see a lot of Space between our leaves from a distance so it's like we're looking across the water at the trees on the other side all right I'm gonna make that one red and I think I'll make this one red kind of put orange red orange red like a little pattern um, you don't have to do it that way. If you want to do them differently, you could do all red trees or all orange trees, whatever you would like. I'm going to create a little bit of variety. All right, those are looking good. All right, now I'm going to clean my brush by swirling in my water really well. I usually wipe it on my paper towel to see. It's got a teeny bit of red. It'll be okay because I am going to get lots of orange and you're not even going to tell. None of that red will come through. So I have lots of orange on my brush. And then I'm going to do, ooh, I like that orange. That's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my trees here and they can even bump into each other a little bit you can overlap just a little bit see how I'm just slightly overlapping that is okay all those leaves are bumping together just a little bit that is okay to do that Mix it nice and full. One more tree. I really like these watercolors. They're good. nice, good color. Great color. This tree come right over to the edge. It's a big full tree. And the same on the other side. Make it go right up to the edge. Fill all that space. There we go. All right, but now we've got some underneath. We want to add, like in my example here, I did 
a little so make it kind of look like the background a little bit of green brownish green in the distance and then a little bit of a uh, fall sky there so we don't want a bright blue sky for our fall we're gonna take a little bit of blue and this is what's cool about our paint tray our paint cover we can just throw some paint in there I'm going to add some blue in there. A little bit of blue. Get quite a bit because I have quite a bit of sky there I want to fill in. So I'm going to put, just using my paintbrush, put some paint in my cover there. And then I'm just going to get a tiny bit of black and mix that in. Just a hint of black, not a lot. So make it look kind of grayish blue. We don't want a blue blue because it's fall. We want kind of a grayish blue. So, oh yeah, that's good. You can see it better here. See that nice grayish blue? And then I'm gonna add a little water to it. So it'll be a little lighter. I don't want it too dark. There we go. So now I'm gonna use that and then just lightly paint my sky. Oh yeah, that's a nice fall color for a sky. So I'm just going to put it in there. I don't want it really thick. I just want a little bit of hint of that blue because really the star of this painting are the trees. So if our sky was so bright, it, I don't want the sky to be the star of the painting. I want the trees to be the bright star of the painting. So that's why I'm just doing a very grayish blue. Also, I'm really light. I'm not painting it thick and heavy with lots of color. This, adding water to it made it lighter too. The more water you use with watercolor, the lighter your color, your paint's going to be. Like the trees, I didn't use very much water. Just enough to paint it on there. And that's why I got that nice, good color. Okay. Oops. That wasn't quite dry. If you want to wait till your trees are dry, you can wait a little bit and then you won't have them run, the paint run together. Um, I'm not going to wait for the video purpose, but um, you can definitely wait a little bit and let those dry completely before you go to the next step. All right. So now I wanna do the bottom. So I'm gonna get a little bit of green, just a little bit. I'm gonna use the other side of my tray here and put a little bit of green in that part. All right, this time I'm going to add just a hint of brown to that green. So it kind of fades it out a little bit. Yeah, kind of a brownish green. There we go. And then some water, so I want to kind of fade it too. So I'm just going to go ahead and, ooh, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Let's blot that really quick. That was a little bit too much. Let me add some brown in here. And just a tiny bit of green. Let's try that opposite. Just mix a little bit of that in there. Hint of green. There we go. More of a brownish color, maybe where the trees have, the leaves have dropped. There we go, there, it's more of a brown. So we're gonna, that's oh, still too dark. I need to add some water to it, because it's way too dark. There we go, lighten it up some with this water. That will help a lot. I wasn't even following my own direction. I need to add a lot of water and get that real lighter. Oh yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in there. There we 
go. Kind of the background. Remember the trees are our star, so we don't want a lot of detail or a lot of bright color in the background. There we go. Just paint right down to that guideline you put. I'm just filling in that space a little bit. There we go. All right, now for the water. So the bottom part of our paper, we're gonna actually do wet on wet. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your brush clean here and you're just gonna paint some water just some plain water right up to that line there. And I'm only doing a small section at a time because you don't want to have your water get dry on you before you've added your paint. So I'm just going to paint plain water on my paper. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me move it up just a little bit. So I got nice water on there. And then I'm going to look at my trees. And I've got an orange tree here orange colored tree. So I'm going to get orange on my brush and I'm just going to tap it in the water. Stipple it in the water. Just tap it. I don't want to brush it. I want it to look some kind of, I'm not going to go all the way to my guideline. I'm going to go above my guy, below my guideline a little bit and kind of just where my orange is. That's where I'm going to put orange on my paper here. And so I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit. And it doesn't have to be exactly the shape, just kind of roughly the shape of your tree because water distorts things, makes them look a little different. So it doesn't have to be exact. So now I have a red tree. So I'm going to add a little bit of red in here. And I don't want the color to be as bright. So adding that water first helps the color not to be quite as bright. See how it's a little more faded? So there's my red, the red tree in the water. And I'm gonna paint water next, next to this section here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of orange. Because that's the next tree. I paint some more orange. I'm going to do a red tree. Let me paint my water on here first. I'm going to do my red tree because this is a red tree. So I'm just going to add my red in here. All right, and then I'm going to paint my last section here and add my orange tree, orange color tree. And add my orange tree. There we go. Now we need to do our sky up here. So that color that I still have some of that sky color in my tray. So I'm going to go ahead and add some plain water because it dried a little bit. And then I'm just going to add some of that sky color and it's okay that it's really light. And I just have a little bit of that color left. I'm just going to kind of use what I have there. Fill that in. Let's see, a little bit left. 
think I have just enough to fill that in. There we go. And then the the background behind the trees. Can you grab my hair dryer, please? Mm -hmm. I forgot my hair dryer. We have to dry this before we can do the next step. So I had my helper get me my hair dryer. So now I have water, plain water there. So and then I'm just gonna tap that in there a little bit. I just I want it real faded. I don't want it as dark as behind my trees right here. And then we're going to fill that in a little bit. Oh, that's looking good. And so see our, the water part should be a lot um, less detailed and less, and less colored, not as bright as the, the above the water. So there, I'm all done with my water colors for now. So set those aside and then I'm gonna grab my hair dryer and you can dry it really quick. It should dry pretty fast. Hair dryers usually help. So um, I would recommend getting a parent's permission and help with this part. Um, if you don't have that, if you don't have a parent that's available to help you with this at this point, just give this time to dry by itself before you do the next step because you can't really do the next step until this is completely dry. So. A little tip for drying is when you're drying with a hair dryer, do not touch the hair dryer on the paper. Always do it above the paper because that can get pretty warm and we don't want it to touch the paper. See, that just takes a couple minutes there. So um, how to tell is if when you touch the paper, it shouldn't feel um, damp at all. It shouldn't feel cold and it shouldn't be shiny at all. And it needs to be thoroughly dry to do the next part. All right, so now we're gonna use our oil pastels. So um, we're gonna do our trunks of our trees in the water. And when we do this part, I do not want you to push down hard on your oil pastels. Normally I have you push down a little harder on your oil pastels, but because it's in the water, we don't want that really thick, dark line. We want it lighter. So I'm just gonna lightly color with my oil pastel and I'm gonna start right at the bottom of the tree trunk and I'm just gonna lightly color in. And when you do the branches, just kind of get the idea of where the branches are. They don't have to be exact. Remember the water kind of distorts things. So maybe just kind of go the same direction a little bit and don't worry about getting them exact. So now I'm going to color lightly. I'm not pushing very hard at all. And you can see that I'm just doing a real light, um, pushing down real lightly with my and I'm just trying to get the a rough shape of the kind of the opposite way that my branches are going. Remember, it doesn't have to be quite exact because it's being distorted a little bit by the water. So if it's not quite the same, that is okay.
I just try to get the number of branches and the rough direction that they're pointing. So like this lower branch here will actually be reflected this way. So it's kind of like trying upside down just a little bit. And the ones above it, and the ones on this side. And then one more over here. There we go. So now you have your trunks in the water, the tree trunks. So now we have this line that we use as a guideline. That's kind of like where the land and the water meet. So what I do first is I put a blue line. I just trace this line and I push down so I need a nice thick blue line. Just follow that guideline that you drew that you folded there right under the tree trunks. Okay. So now I have blue and then I take a little bit of black and I go over it with a little bit of black there and they kind of blend together a little bit. And then I take white and I, I go over it with white and it blends just a little bit more and it's going to make it look a little more like water, shiny like water. Okay, so now because I have some color on my white, I'm actually going to take a paper towel, clean that off. And the last step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take my white oil pastel and make some lines straight across. So, and then I'll smear the tree trunks a little bit, and that is okay. I even come up here and do a little more white on that line, kind of smear that in a little bit, and do some white lines in the water. And they don't have to be all lined up perfectly. They just need to be straight across. But see, I did a white line and then I stopped and then I did another white line here. They don't all have to be straight across like this because it's it's, na it's nature and nature is random sometimes. It's not always perfectly straight lines across. Now, the um, I'm making mine a calm water, so I'm doing straight lines, but I'm not um, doing them all like in a pattern. They're randomly straight across. And if they overlap a little bit, there we go. And that's just going to give it the appearance of the shiny water. You can make some of them a little thicker. There you go. That looks so cool. That is a fun project. I really enjoy this one. Let me add a few more. And this is okay that those smear a little bit because they're in the water and they're reflecting in the water. So there you have it, Fall Reflections. This was a very fun project to do. Um, if you finish this project and want to send me a picture of it, I would love to see your beautiful trees and their reflections that you created. So thank you for joining me today for this fun project. Bye-bye.